That game was a nightmare. That was disgusting. I'm gonna be real with you. This video gonna be short. I know I say that a lot, but if you look at the time code, this video gonna be short. What's good, CK Crew? It's boy CK2K here, and yeah, last night happened. Knox lost the handle. Yeah, he thought he had another dribble, but it would have been double dribble. So, Pelosi made it in. The Knicks decided to uh, to to allow Utah Jazz to you know practice on Madison Square Garden court because that wasn't the basketball game that I watched yesterday. But before we get into any of that, uh, much love to all you guys who checked out the last Knicks story video. It's about Kadeem Allen. The poll is still up on the community tab if you guys want to vote on who the next one should be about. And I have bigger news. Even though today's video is gonna be short, there's gonna be a lot of CK2K on the internet hey, today yeah. because on the fumble, your boy is hosting for the day this could be the first time of many or it could be the only time i don't know but um yes your boys gonna be hosting on the fumble links in the description below go click that and by the time you see this video there should be another there should be a video on the fumble but literally all day today it will be my face on the fumble i need you guys to go and support your boy over on the channel because there's a lot of people on the fumble that are gonna be uh oh shit you see that it's uh it's your boy on the channel <laughs> So go support, go show, show, show you guys some love. Um, let, let the other people know how we do in the CK crew bars. All right, so let, let's 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 briefly talk about last night. I'm not gonna talk about the game because we got blown out. But I will say one thing: I was very, very, very pleased with Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox has been slowly getting out of his um, his, his drought that he's been in, and a lot of you guys have been tearing him up on. And you guys know me; I have been preaching patience when it comes to this kid because what we saw. Uh, I want to say probably the later end of January up until I want to say probably last week. That's not the Kevin Knox that we need to get accustomed to. This is the guy right here. I think this is the kid that we can get accustomed to. Shooting 10 for 17 from the field, shooting a solid 58%, 50% from the three-point line, 66 from the free throw. Yeah, he needs to get his free throws up, but realistically, he shot four for six, so I'm not upset with that. But here's the big thing, and here's the reason why I feel like he got into the slump that he was in in the first place. He played 46 minutes last night. What? 46 minutes. And mind you, I understand Fizdale is trying to get these guys out there and playing and getting accustomed to the game. But 46 minutes, whenever uh, Knox was playing well, he tended to get a lot of a lot more minutes when he played. And we saw that again last night. He played a good game. Therefore, he plays 46 minutes. 46 minutes. That's a long time. So I feel like if you do that enough times, you're going to get tired. You're going to hit the wall. And we're going to see what happened with Kevin Knox in the past. We're going to see that happen again. But outside of that, Mario Zonia is, is continuing to play well. I mean, he was a minus of 26 because on the defensive side, he was getting torched. But he did have a solid 23 points off of the 8 of 13 shooting. And that's about all I'm going to say for Mario Zonia after that amazing block he had. But other than that, there weren't really many other things. Um, shout out to Mitchell Rod Robinson, who had a solid game. 6 for 10, 14 points, 12 boards. He rounded up with three blocks, which was nice stuff. I mean, statistically, on the, the younger front, it, it was what you want to see. Mitchell Robinson doing what he's supposed to do. Damian Dotson continuing to play well. Uh, Kevin Knox looking well. I mean, we know Alonzo Trier was out. DSJ was out. Uh, Frankie missing one more game. He'll possibly be back on Friday. Hopefully, he'll be back. Kadeem was sick as well. So, all of the young guys that, you know, we should be paying attention and caring about, they did not get to play. But the guys that did, did a great job. And Damian Dotson, Kevin Knox, and Mitch Robinson. Robinson. But other than that, it was a disgusting game. It was ugly. I, there, I just really want to highlight the the stuff to be highlighted, which is um, the the great play by our young guys, and that's really all it is. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. But let me know in the comment section below just your feelings. Like, this, use the comment section, just get it all out. Talk about what you want to talk about. I will be in there and I will be responding to you guys as all as we always do. Just get it all out. Get your your feelings about last night on the comment section i'll be there to to pat you on the back and be like yeah it really did suck <laughs> But yeah, I know this is a shorter video compared to normal, um, but like I said, I will be on the Fumble all day today, so go over and simply subscribe to the Fumble, or even if you don't want to subscribe, I, well, I suggest you do subscribe, but go check me out. I'll be doing tons of videos on there. I would appreciate all you guys' support to stay strong on the CK crew. Let me know that you guys are there from the channel. I appreciate you guys and help me out with some of these Fumble fans that are um, 
looking for other things other than sports in the videos if you know what i'm talking about <laughs> but for some fun i thought you know since this is a shorter video let's let's do something that we haven't done in quite some time and that is the comments of the video all right so this is coming from the last video by kadeem allen uh pink davis says i think the knicks should keep allen he is a solid point guard good backup and he could flourish under fisdale facts 100 percent point blank period next got a lot of comments asking me to do a damian dotson one i think damian dotson is the next one he does have a very interesting past um especially in the college and um I, yeah well the kid uh damian dotson's probably gonna be the next one rick harrison ck looked like moutier that meme that meme. Speaking of memes, join the Discord, the CK Crew Discord. It is still live and in full effect. It is a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun talking about basketball in general. Yes, of course, there's a lot of Knicks fans on there, but we talk about all the teams over on the Discord. So go right now and join the Discord. Link in the description below. I see this question a lot. Um, NCEXNYC says, just curious as to why Fizz decided to make Moody his pet project instead of frank i'd love to hear your thoughts on this as it stands now the knicks have do have one too many point guards all right um i'm gonna try to keep this as short and as as unbiased as possible for sure you guys know i, I support moodier but realistically i know what is the betterment for the team and in my opinion i don't think that's moodier at least at the point guard position the reason why i think that fizzdale gives moodier such a, a longer leash compared to a guy like frank nilakina i i don't know i really don't know i i mean i i, I know why moodier gets a lot of burn and he gives him a lot of um praise is because and people don't realize hazoni is the same way he gives hazoni a lot of love he, he was fixated on both those guys from the minute he came on onto the team and when we signed hazonia um he really grew an attachment to both of those dudes um now that hazonia is back and he's actually playing well now it gives him a reason to play uh hazonia i mean playing well to an extent his defense is still so atrocious like i said negative 26 last night both of them hazonia and moodier negative 23 and a negative 26 like both those guys i love moodier and i love him for the fact of his um potential but at the same time i'm not gonna sugarcoat how he has been negative towards the team as well as he has been positive we saw that he does give frank chances he loves using frank as a swiss army knife um i just think that moody right now is just getting all the love in the world right now because he connects to him as a person as a human being and likes moody like that and he wants to see him get a job elsewhere other than that i have no idea i couldn't tell you even me as a moody supporter i would not be starting moody at this level in the of in the season um i would not be giving moody the minute I, I would give moody 25 to 8, 28 minutes i'll say that much but i wouldn't be starting him and i wouldn't be giving him situations like this and I, I i don't know i don't know but let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm gonna wrap it there good questions as always again shorter video than most i apologize about that but like i said i'll say it again go to the fumble today i'm, I'm on all day i'm hosting all day go show your boys some love and show them some support we keeping the uploading going next upload on saturday we got ourselves a little mini schedule and we keeping up with it all right much love to you guys as always follow me on my socials if you haven't join the discord it's a lot of fun link in the description below subscribe if you haven't hit the bell you know what it is let's get it i'll see you guys in the next video matter of fact i'm gonna send you guys off with with a highlight okay because there's a lot of low lights in that game i'm gonna send you off with a highlight well we've seen the grit from these licks all season y'all obviously it's been a dismal year but they've shown no quit obviously they need to talk about defense see we did something right Whatever. Roll the intro.